Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 729. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on the link directly below the video. Then you can download the workbook 727 to 732. Hey, in this video here, here's a lookup value. So imagine we're doing VLOOKUP, right? We want to, in this cell, have a formula that takes this, races down this column, finds the item, matches it, gets the project one, and puts it here. This one similar to should be project one. Ah, but what in the world if your data is set up this way and you cannot change it? Here's the item we want to return to the cell, but when we do a lookup, we need to say, hey, take this and look through multiple items in the same cell? Huh. Well, let's just see how VLOOKUP does it, equals VLOOKUP. The lookup value, well, you got to tell the VLOOKUP what to look up, comma. The table, well, conveniently, we have a table set up for VLOOKUP. Um, takes this value, whoop, goes through the first column. When it finds a match, it jumps over to the second column, and it's going to, the VLOOKUP will actually return project one. So table array, we have that, and we need to hit our F4 key to lock it. Now, comma. Column index, well, the item we want to return is from the second column, one, two. So we type a two, comma, and finally, the last argument is, um, are we doing an exact match, which we are, so I'm not going to put false, I'm going to put zero. Now, that's not the point of this video. That's just to illustrate that most of the time, the vast majority of the time, you know, tables are set up this way. Ah, but now, what are we going to do with this? I'm actually going to... Uh, Copy this, escape, paste. I'll just keep this over here. And now let's see if we can figure out a formula here. Oh, I got it. If we're looking up this, we can use the search function. The search function can say, hey, I'm going to look up this comma within what text? That cell right there. Now, the search isn't a lookup function. All it's going to do is tell us what position in all of these characters, this starts, uh, the starting position for this particular value right here. Okay, let's just hit enter, 11. So that means 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. It's the 11th character where this starts. Well, what is that going to do? That's not going to help us. But what if we took this argument within text? It's expecting a single cell. What if we go like this? Now let's just see. I'm going to hit F4 because we're going to have to lock that. Let's just see what this returns. Highlight it, and you can hit your F9 key to evaluate. One, two, three. It means in it's returning three items because we gave it three cells, right? The item is not in this one, and it's not in this one. It gives you a value error, but it's the 11th character here. So as we copy this down, I'm going to Control Z. It'll always return an array. In fact, let's. Uh, copy it down. Let's just here evaluate this. Highlight and F9. Oh, look. The 13 means there's one, two, three, because there's three cells. It's just giving you a position, but that's an indicator. This is an array. One, two, three. So the second item is returning a number, which tells us that's in the second row there. So I'm going to escape, come up here. Since this is returning an array, we can do a lookup. Now, as we saw in those two examples, it's always going to give us just a single number in either one, two, or three positions. So we're going to do a lookup. And we're going to use the lookup function. And the reason why is because the lookup function can do two things. One is it can handle arrays. These arguments here, which are going to be this, this search, can handle arrays. And the second thing is uh, it can handle a lookup vector and then a separate uh, result vector. So we actually can say, hey, the values we want to return are from a separate vector or range of cells. Now, what is the lookup value going to be? Remember, these are always going to be numbers. Well, I'm going to use 9.99 and then E plus 307. That's just the biggest number that Excel can possibly understand. That's in scientific notation. Now, technically, it's 9.9999999. So you'd have to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. That's the biggest number that Excel could ever see. Now, um, 
we can go ahead and use that. But if you're never going to have more than you know 200 or 500 characters in the cell, you could put whatever big number you want there. Now, lookup is going to look up that big number, and it's going to look through this search, which is an array returning three items. And anytime there's a number, it will get a true. So remember, it's either going to get a true here, here, or here. Comma. That's the lookup vector right there. That's just giving us the true, right? Comma, the result vector, boom. That one right there. So if it gets a true here, it's returning that. If it gets a true here, it's going to return that. And we have an array here, right? Because that argument's expecting a single cell, and we gave it more than one. So normally, you have to do Control-Shift-Enter. But because the, lo the, the lookup function can handle arrays, we just hit Enter. And then we double click and send it down. It's returning a 0 because broop, I forgot to lock it. So I'm going to escape, come over here, and then hit the F4 key. Now, this actually, this formula uh, I first saw in a post at the Mr. Excel message board back in 2007. Barry Houdini won uh, the 2007 uh, challenge with a formula like this. All right, we'll see you next trick.